how do I gain khushur, humility, in my prayer? And there are many different things that we'll talk about, right, in terms of how to gain humility, how to gain peace, how to be mindful in your prayer so that you're not distracted by a bunch of different things. But I want you to think about this. When you do get distracted in prayer, what are you usually distracted by? The thoughts of what you have to do after prayer. Think about it. Most of the time, when you go in Salah, the reason why you're rushing or the reason why you're distracted is because you're already thinking about the things that you have to do after prayer. So you're thinking beyond the prayer and therefore not enjoying the prayer that you're in. So you rush it. You're making these plans. You, you, you forget which raka'ah you're on all the time. You get lost in your surahs because you're not really there. You're going through the motions, but your mind is engaged in another activity. And the activity that your mind is engaged in is usually the worldly activity that will follow that prayer. So if you disengaged really quickly from something just to get the prayer out the way, you never really disengage that thing. You're just thinking about what you're going to do when you get back to that activity. So your prayer is an interruption in your day as opposed to being an essential element of your day and the most important part of your day because it concerns the most important relationship of your life and it is the most important thing that you will be asked about on the day of judgment. But you are treating it like an interruption of your day and usually you're not thinking about your food, you're not thinking about, unless you haven't eaten and you're thinking about the lunch that comes after Salah, you're thinking about what's next in the day. You're making your plans. If you got a phone call coming up, what am I going to say when I talk to this person? If you got a meeting, how am I going to prepare for that meeting? If you got some work to do, how am I going to get that work done? Your mind is thinking ahead of it. And the Prophet gives you a very simple advice, and it's very efficient. Don't think beyond the prayer. Catch yourself, stop yourself. And remind yourself, hey, this could be the last time that I get to stand before Allah in this life and then meet Him standing before Him in the hereafter, asked about how I used to stand before Him in this life. This is my last job interview with Allah, effectively. This is the last time that I'm going to have the opportunity to pray. The last time that I'm going to have the opportunity to get this right. And if it's the last time and it's the first thing I get asked about in the akhirah, the hereafter, then I really, really need to focus and make this right. So mindfulness starts with recognizing what usually takes you away from mindfulness. Saying, you know what? Stop here. Salli salat al Pray as if it's your last prayer. Focus. There is no asr if I'm in dhuhr. There is no maghrib if I'm in asr. And so on and so forth. I cannot guarantee that I'll live to see the next time to say Allahu Akbar and to get into that prayer. So let me treat this prayer right and not think ahead of it. And by doing so, I'm also prioritizing the relationship with Allah over the relationship with everybody and everything else. Start with that.